Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So this video is about installing Side Store, which allows you to install any app, any IPA file to your device without a computer. So it is essentially a fork of Alt Store, which does not require any Alt server to be active. Side Store is completely free and we are at its official website as you can see it right here yes a computer is not required to use size store but to set it up for the first time you will require a computer now to make things easy for you i will first of all show you which apps you will have to install on your iphone or ipad to get it working first of all as you can see i have this iphone 12 and you can see is on ios 18 on your device first of all you will have to install these two. You will find them easily on the App Store. They are completely free. Go to the App Store and first of all, install this one. Once installed, you will have to install this second one called iZip. You can also find the same on the App Store. It is also completely free. Now on the official website for Size Store, hit Get Started and you will get here. Now, from there, get the old server. You will need to get iTunes and iCloud. These are all the official links. Once you get these files, iCloud setup and iTunes, please install them one by one to your PC. I have already installed them to save your time. And for all server, you can simply right click and then extract all and you will get this folder you will find this file simply install it and you will get all server installed on your pc and then you can simply search for all server and get it started you'll find this little icon here for all server simply connect your ios device via usb left click and then first of all install all store simply put in your apple id any apple id will work and then hit the install button now this will take a moment and it will install alt store on your device first all right as you can see it is successfully installed now to open alt store you can simply head to settings then go to general go to device management and trust the app from there secondly you will have to go to settings then go to privacy and security and from there you will find developer mode you will only see developer mode once alt store is installed all right simply open it and then enable developer mode your device will now restart enable it and get back home when you get back developer mode is on app is trusted you'll be able to open it now guys get back to the size store official website and get size store ipa and the jitter bug pair once you have side store ipa and jitter bug pair simply right click jitter bug pair and extract all to get it into a folder now we will have to install the side store ipa to our device what you will do is launch side server if it is not open then press and hold the shift key then left click and it will show an option to side load IPA. Select it, select your device. Now simply select the IPA you just got, hit open. Put in the same Apple ID you used to install Alt Store. You can see the app is now successfully installed. Now to make side store work, you can simply head to settings, then go to general, and from device management, simply trust this app. Once done, you will be able to open it as well. Now to make side store work, you will require a pairing file. Now let's get it to your device. Now to get the pairing file, if not, please set a passcode now to your device. All right, I have turned on the passcode. Now simply open Jitterbug pair folder and then run this file. Simply double click. If your device shows trust this computer, hit trust, put in the passcode and rerun Jitterbug pair by simply double clicking it. And you will find this mobile device pairing file here in the folder for Jitterbug pair. 
Now, if you didn't, simply open iZip once. Now, open iTunes and connect your device via USB. Then hit file sharing here and you'll find iZip right here. Simply hit on iZip and then hit add file. Now, from here, simply select the pairing file you just got from Jitter bug pair. Hit open and it will add this file to iZip. Now go to the files app on your device on my iPhone iZip and simply press and hold and then move this file to downloads. So we successfully moved the pairing file to our device. From here, the entire process is now on device. First of all, open Safari and head to the official website for site store. Hit get started, then hit just want to download instead and then from there get the side store config file download this will get this config file to your device now open this app we just got in the first part of this video open it then simply hit this add button then hit create from file select this file and then simply turn this button on now open side store hit ok to select the pairing file we just got from the PC. Browse, Downloads, select the pairing file, go to Apps, Refresh All. Now simply put the Apple ID you just used to install Side Store. All right, as you can see, it worked. Now before I hit Gordon, I would like to disconnect this iPhone from my PC. Now, as you can see, it is no longer charging so it is disconnected now i will hit got it you can see it worked the side store is refreshing just fine without a computer no errors no issues we will wait for the refresh to complete and then we will open side store and see installing once complete i can simply open it and it will work indefinitely every time it is near expiry or it expires you can refresh it without a computer now for a demo I will install a random IPA app so I will simply hit this plus button and then select the IPA you can see it is now being installed without a computer my iPhone is not connected to this PC via USB now we will wait for the installation to finish. I will not cut the video in between to show you that it works without any problem. So you can see it is now complete app is installed. If I go home, I can open it without any problem. Now in the end, a little troubleshooting. If you have issues signing in with your Apple ID into side store, you can simply open settings, scroll all the way down to NST servers and select any other server rather than side store. So this server worked for me while I was making this video. If it doesn't work, you can also reset ADI. Simply close the app fully from the app switcher. Open it again, select another server and then try to log in with your Apple ID and it should now work. Also, in some cases, if you are required to reset the pairing file, what you can do is go to settings, scroll all the way down and then hit reset pairing file. Delete and reset and then you can add the pairing file again. That's all for this video, guys. If you still have questions, you can ask in the comments section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.